Welcome back everyone to the Forexation 2024 mentorship and today we are on week 10 and we're going to take a step back and ground yourself. I know we went through a lot in the first nine weeks. I want you to keep practicing that this week, but in week 10, we're going to take a step back. Every time I take a step back, it's usually when I'm starting to get frustrated with the markets or I can see that I'm not waiting for my setups or my rules to play out and I'm getting anxious when I take a few days off of trading. Trading will always be there for for now. We don't, we don't know what the future holds, right? But it's going to be there next week, right? So take a couple days off, regroup yourself, get your mind right, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Click the thumbs up and let's get into it. So first things first, you need to know, hey, you're not a profitable trader, right? You're not, I mean, take that back. You're not a professional trader. You're just a guy or girl going through the motions, trying to play the markets and make decent money for themselves, right? But you are not a big prop firm, um, you know, million dollar account trader right or you're not a hedge fund trader whatever it is right whatever professional trader you think you could be you're not that yet right maybe you can be there in the future but today you're not there so don't expect huge profits that's the biggest killer of mine in the past creating accounts personally funded or through prop firms i always expected a huge profit which just wasn't the case like if the goal is to make, you know, 1,500 or 2,000 on the account, you're going to have to do it in increments. You can't just do that in one trade because even if you get lucky one time, you can't do that over and over again, right? So break it down. What is that? Is that 250 a day you want to do? Is that 300 a day you want to do? Whatever that dollar amount is, break it down into smaller sections and don't expect that huge profit all at once. Be aware and understand you are a practicing student. There, I don't know why people come to trading and myself included. I don't know why that was a thing. But I thought if I could just trade, I could quit my job and then boom, I'm rich and everything will fall in line, right? But there's nothing in life that you could just switch to because you want to and be great at it. Like you need to practice. If you're for me, if I was a mountain biker or a dirt bike ra uh, racer, I can't just hop on and want to be the best, right? I have to go through the training. I got to exercise. I got to do drills. Why are we not doing that with trading, right? So everything I went through in the first nine weeks, go through those drills over and over again. Do the training over and over again. And when you're going into live markets, make sure you're putting all that together and getting that story played out in the real markets, whether you're actually trading or you are just watching and back testing in lifetime, right? So you also need to know you're going to make mistakes. It happens. Any professional sport, any profession, people make mistakes, right? And it's part of the process because you slipped up or there was something new to learn. That's why you made a mistake. So look at that mistake. What can you learn from that? And don't make, don't let mistakes just be a mistake. Let them be a, something to learn from and grow from. And that's going to help you keep pushing forward because you're not afraid to make mistakes because you know if you make a mistake, there's going to be a lesson waiting for you to learn and make sure you're a better person. And it's it is okay like it's it's a process there's people who um we're going to just stick on the sports talk there's professional athletes that reach the top and then fall down and then they got to rebuild themselves back up right there's no one that just kind of goes straight up right it's always up down up down up down but we want to make sure between all those ups and downs we're slowly growing up throughout the process so it's okay to make mistakes you're practicing you're not a professional you're not gonna have big 100k days it's okay everything's okay and that leads me to the next point which is surrender to the process that means just go through the, the 
training. Go through everything. Do your drills. Do your practice. Do your journaling. Review your journaling. Review the practice. Review your mistakes. Just surrender to the process because you need to know that if you do the process the best you can and keep growing, it doesn't matter how fast you're moving up. If you keep doing that, you're raising your bar every single week over week, month over month, year over year. And you're going to get there if you just keep making the right moves. doesn't matter if it's like this, right? Eventually, you're going to be up here. Just surrender to the process. Do the process. And everything will fall in line eventually. Uh, and then we're going to learn to learn trading and how the market works. So it's not you're just going to get, yep, we're buying today. We're buying today. We're going to buy more. We're going to buy more. We're going to sell today. We're going to do puts, calls, whatever, right? Learn to learn trading. And what that means is you could watch videos and get all this information in your head, but if you're not learning to learn, and that means you're taking that information and learning why, how the market works with all this information you're given, and then learning in the charts with all this information you're not it's not going to stick and you're not going to have that muscle memory and you're not going to have that confidence if you're not just learning and then relearning it while being live in the charts or back testing right and <laughs> do not learn to make fast and easy money it's it's not fast and easy because even though I do take trades as low as 15 minutes and I'm making $250, $300, it wasn't 15 minutes. It was me looking at the charts before I started trading that day, that night, reviewing the session, and ultimately all those training videos I went through, all the training drills I went through, all the journaling I went through, all that equaled that 15 minutes of making that much money, right? So it's not just show up to the uh, <laughs> show up to the charts, show up to the charts and print money. It's go through everything. And when you do get in the trade, it may be quick, but remember yourself, it's not that quick money. You did so much work before throughout the day, previous day, the week month years of studying that led to this quick money today so don't get blinded by quick money don't get blinded by huge profits you're not a professional you're practicing you're going to make mistakes okay just trust the process render the process do your work learn how the market works by being in the charts personally with what you learned from what you took notes on the video you watched this mentorship you need to be in the charts relearning everything yourself because that's ultimately going to make you the better trader so this week is just regrounding yourself getting your mind straight and then we'll get back into developing your skills in the next week so subscribe if you haven't already click that thumbs up hope this helped you out it's a little shorter video but you got nine weeks of training before this that you could Keep going through the motions, surrender to the process, and learn to learn, right? So, hope you all have a good one. See you in the next week. Peace.